Hello, so today I'm going to go through the assessment instrument that I have created for geologic geometry. So, the start of the question starts off by saying, the accompanying map shows the ground contours at 5 meter vertical intervals on a proposed golf course. So, ABC is the center line of a proposed fairway, and the fairway has the following specification. So, the section of the fairway from A to C is level at an altitude of 50, and the section of the fairway from C to D is rising uniformly to 65 meters at D. So using side slopes of 1 and 2 for cut and 1 and 1.5 for fill, the question asks us to complete the necessary earthworks at the north side of the map. So here we can see, if I just turn off these layers, this is what the students will be given. So what you'll be given is this center line here. This will be the center of the golf course the fairway is shown and you have to complete the artworks here at the northern side of the map so the first question, part of the question is complete the artworks so the section from A to C is level at 50 meters so what we do first is we do the section from A to B so as we see here A to B we have to fill up to get to 50 meters so what we do as fill is 1 and 1.5 we measure intervals of 7.5 off this to get the necessary contour lines for our road. <coughs> so here now we've marked off this, so I'll just zoom in. So the edge of the road is 50 and this crosses this contour. So this becomes our first point of the artworks. And then 45 will cross this line here at 45. And then the 40 will cross this line here. And the 35 will cross this line. We have a yellow line in that represents 30, but we our artwork to our contour 30 doesn't cross this so it's not necessary so all we do then is we draw in where the lines all match up so we get this is our first part of the artwork so now we'll just hide this and then we move on to do section B to C so section B to C as we can see is, is uh, cut so we have to cut down from 65 meters, 55 meters to reach 50. So what we do is, as cut is 1 and 2, we multiply 5 by 2 to get 10. So we measure intervals of 10 up here to get these distances. So what we do is 50 is the first point here, and then 55 will cross the second line here at this point from where cursor is. 60 will cross here, and then 65 will cross here. We continue this on a small bit so that we can create the necessary artworks to where the two roads cross. So all we do then, as we've done previously, is just match up the points to get the artworks. So you can see further on here now why we continue this on a little bit further. So the next section of the road now is a little different. So the next section is section from C to D. So C to D part of the road is rising. So it's rising from 50 meters here at C the 65 meters here at D. So this is 15 meters of a difference. So what we have to do is we have to create an arc. So we create an arc, so we're creating a cut arc because we're cutting down to reach the necessary artwork. So as we're cutting down we multiply 15 by 2 which gives us 30. So our arc is going to be 30. So the first thing we have to do is we have to draw our arc. So if I zoom in here we can see the arc is drawn here at the lower point of the road because the cut arc always goes at the lower. This arc here is just the radius 30 and then we draw in our first <coughs> interval line tangent to this so it goes from the side of the roadway to the arc as a tangent and this gives us our first point, our first line and then all we do is we measure intervals of 10 off this to create our necessary points. Um, this first line has this point D in the road represents 65. This line here is also going to represent 65. And as we can see, we have one contour line that's 60. So we measure below this 1 or 10 mil um, to get our 60. So then we just, as we've done previously, join up for all the necessary lines cut. And all we do then is fill in our artwork as shown. So if we turn off these blue contour lines, like this, and we turn on our previous lines here, we can see where we continued on the two edges. 
So what you do then is where you get where these two points cross, and you just these two bits of lines then are hidden, and then your final solution then will look something like this. So all your artworks are all these heavy black lines here are short, and all the rest of the lines that you have created are just basic construction lines that you need to solve this question. Okay, so now we're going to look at section B. So section B, I looked at kind of sustainability and getting the students to look more into earthworks. So <coughs> in this, I asked, how would you change the levels and slopes of the fairway to reduce the amount of labor and material waste in the creation of this fairway? So take into consideration that the entire fairway cannot be leveled. So I just wrote out a quick solution here. So what we do is we put the map and the solution beside each other so it becomes easier for us to see. So, for this now, I said I would change this fairway. I would begin by changing section B to C. So I would change B to C. I would make it rising. So I would make B to C rise from B, from B here, which is 50 meters, and I would make it rise up to 60 meters here at C. So by doing this, it just rises up gently, and it reduces the amount of cut needed. So reduces the amount of labor in the cutting here. This makes it much easier and much more cheaper to do for the person creating the fairway. The second part I said is I would change this section from C to D so that it would rise from 60 meters at C to 75 meters at D. This would reduce the amount of cut while also keeping a rise of 15 meters in this section which will be the same as the question. So it would rise the same amount but it would it would rise 15 meters but you would have less amount of cut because see up here you have 85 now we're only cutting down as far as 75 whereas before we were cutting down as far as 65 which was a lot more cut which was kind of unnecessary if we just changed the map so I said in and back over here I said by reducing the amount of cut there is less labor needed making much cheaper while also having less waste material which is better for the environment I also said I would keep section A to B the same and the material that has been cut from B to D can be used then to fill in this section here from A to B. I just put in this section as it gets students to think more deeply into the question and make them think a little bit about sustainability and the environment.